what will be the biggest surprise about AI energy infrastructure in 2027? I would say that like some of the things that I that I go on about, which are still seen as still seen as somewhat controversial or something, will no longer be controversial. So, for example, the idea that that the AI data centers would become the center of gravity of electricity production and consumption, and that mm. instead of the discussion being around PGM like unilaterally imposing like we're going to cut you off if we're running out of power because our mm. human consumers are more important than our AI consumers, even though economically speaking, the human consumers are much less important. The, the discussion will be around PGM negotiating with their local compute cluster for access to their excess power. Because because like just in my neighborhood, I think in a given year, we're lucky if we have 99% uptime in my neighborhood, mm. right? So at home. So we have like blackouts totaling 72 hours a year or something like that, which is kind of frustrating. But for an AI data center, you probably want to have like at least one more nine, if not two more nines of uptime. So mm -hmm. what that means is the AI data center will have solar plus batteries. It'll have excess power most of the time. That is effectively just they're not even using it. It's just sitting, sitting there. So they, they'll be able to sell that to be good neighbors, I think. But yeah, that, that's, that whole discussion is, is um, I, I don't think it's been widely understood yet that like there probably won't be independent power generation merchants in the future. There'll be captive power plants for highly mm -hmm. energy demanding systems, whether they're data centers or synthetic fuel plants, and that, mm -hmm. and that they, will, they will become the default merchant of power for legacy grid users.